Welcome back to Mortal Shell with me and my wife, Alta. Hey. So, we have that boss that's way, way, way down in the depths of this dungeon. We're gonna try to fight it. Now, uh, first, let's use the quenching acid that we found to increase the strength of this blade. Alright. Weapon damage increased. I wonder by how much. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Do you think I should try to run there, or do you think I should try to kill things along the way? There's I a lot of enemies. I would say kill things along, along the way, because you can parry and get health back. That's true. Three hits on those? Guy seems like a huge improvement. They used to take more than that? I think so. I think they were harder than basic enemies. Hmm. Yeah, given how rare the quenching acid is, I would hope that it would increase the damage by a good amount. Mm. Ah! Me have spare we? Oh, never mind. I'll parry the next one. That's what you always say. Now in this room you will take the stairs down. That room seems to be like a fuck you, you are not gonna be like just running through this area to get to the boss. I parried after taking ah. like three times the damage I was trying to heal. Yeah. They do very little damage, so I would say Parry them for hell. Uh oh. Yeah, down there. Should we have found a use for the tar spores by now? <sighs> I don't know. Can we, like, I feel like we should be able to rub it on a weapon. Can we? Maybe we need to become, like, super familiar with it. Oh, God. I'm not going to do that right now, of course. Yeah, but, you know, after the boss fight. <laughs> oh, we need to use one more time to reveal further details about this item. Okay. Um, so down here? Yes. Oh, right, there's uh. one that's like above there. So you want to lure them in this room? Oh. Oh, no! <gasps> you got yeeted onto your own body, basically. Oh, come on! Oh! Okay, we're going back. Yeah, let's just go back. <laughs> Is this the right way? Yes. Sip this. Well, let's have that tar spore, huh? Yeah. Nom nom. Nom nom. Familiarity maxed. Immunity to poison damage. For 20 seconds. Good God. 
Those familiar gain immunity to poison damage for 120 seconds. A noxious mushroom. Uh -huh. This fungus offers a curious rush of nausea and delirium, often resulting in false divisions. It's a convincing imitation of tar, though highly toxic. But then again, aren't all of pleasures? Aren't all of pleasures? I mean, if you're no. fucking, if you're fucking, you're literally getting poison damage. Apparently. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty, that's really that's pretty useful. Yeah, really useful, especially against those nasty tail creatures. Because they're poisonous little bitches. They're like, oh, it is so toxic. They're always on Twitter being like, Ugh, I call you out for like being against Nazis to say that they should die. Because like, you think people should die. Sip this. They do be like that. They do be like that. Oh, oh, well cap. Get that welt. Two of them. Damn. Damn. Ah, oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> you gonna take off your head now? No? That's very satisfying, that reach. Oh. Go kill them before they do. Yeah. Fucker. This is like so men, isn't it? They're always like, let me just uh, take off my head and throw it at you. I'm like, no, I don't want that. No girl wants that. <laughs> Oh, I guess my tar spore ran out. Yeah. Oh, nice. It also, like, cures. Cool. Damage. Come on. Why can't I parry? The knife guy should be safer, maybe. Yeah. Maybe I just shouldn't try on super fast enemies. Yeah. Oh, right, it doesn't matter, does it? Their body becomes poison. Right. Oh, right. <gasps> right, because of the tar spore. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And but we maybe, have so many of but these. But maybe you also take damage when the head hits you, so. Oh, yeah, probably. Mm. I mean, they can't maybe be comfortable. Maybe you should first sneak around and take care of the dude who's, like, standing up there and throwing his knives at you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, dude. Damn, okay. That should do it. What? What? No. Uh. Jesus. Cluck, glug, cluck, glug. Oh, your poison diamonds is also running out. Oh. oh, there we go. It doesn't actually do that much damage, that attack, but it does push them back a lot. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to run back now. Um... How am I supposed to fight this boss nope, if I can't even way. get there? No, this is the right oh. way. Oh. Huh. Yes. Yeah, that is. Whew. 
Maybe you can just run there. Let's try it. Dangarosh. That didn't even hurt. <laughs> Down the stairs, right in front of you, yes. Deeper in there, yes. And then through there? Yes. Oh wait, do I have to defeat this then? Or... There's probably a fog wall, right? There's probably a fog wall. There's gotta be. Has to be. Alright. Alright. Oh, well, uh, not sure hardening works there. Oh god. So this is like... Grisha, but this one was enslaved. So it's bigger and angrier. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Maybe against him, fire would be good. Ooh, it would, because, right, this is icy. Icy would not be good, but fire would probably be really, really good. This music is intense. Yeah, holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh. That was weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Those ragdolls are kind of hilarious. <laughs> I'm not doing too bad, really. Yeah. I mean, I can't really heal anymore, but... I got a parry left in me. Probably should have put some alcohol in my quick use. Oh. Oof. Well, we know all you need to do is walk really far away and he's just chilling there like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I'm just chill. Yeah, he doesn't seem to rush at me. I'm scared, I'm scared. If you're Yuri Moonshine, sure. Do I have any good stuff? I don't no. think so. The inferior moonshine does hurt though. Yeah, but you'll gain it back when you parry. So it's an investment. This 
boss is kind of fucking epic. Yeah. This music is just like killing me. Oh god. It's, it's just like, like constant tension. I'm just trying to get a parry. That's all I'm focusing on right yeah. now. Yeah. You're doing good, babe. Yes. Gulp it. Gulp it down. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Again, yes. <sighs> Still got our parry. Fuck. Well, at least it didn't use the resolve. Yeah, it didn't. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> oh, I did it again. I'm just so scared, I'm like, back up, back up, back up! <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh. My wife is what? A pro, a gamer. My wife is what? A pro, a gamer. Mm. I think I need to get out of here. Oh my god. Wait, are we good? I think it stopped. It seems like, yeah. <sighs> oh, that was so much tension. Holy shit. Oh, uh. I can't believe I first tried that. Hell yeah. Uh, oh. Wow. Wow. Sports. <laughs> I feel so bad because they were just like a hurt animal. You know? Like, God, they just needed some TLC. Yeah. The learning channel. Tender love and care. That's a really disturbing boss. Yeah. God, that music. That fucking music. That music was just like, You're going to die. You're going to die. Yeah, I've, I don't... Like, Dark Souls doesn't have that sort of music at all. They have more epic music. Yeah, it's not, more like... Not, oh, the angels cry <laughs> watching you die. <laughs> not just constant tension. That was like, oh my god. That was a really cool fight, though. It I really told liked you, it. you, bitch, you're in it now. Bitch, mm -hmm. in it now. I'm so mad that we beat it without using the ice sword. I mean, the fire sword. I know, right? It probably would have done a lot of damage. Yeah. But how good are you that you still just fucking killed it? Yeah. What? Many died dragging that beast down here. He served as a slave, a guardian, that they would worship unfettered. Enshrined in ice. Can you blame them? The humans? 
The perversity of living has always been its ever-changing nature. So, then, would you like another... I do blame people for fucking bringing down a creature that you don't want to be brought down and saving it. And just, like, keeping it in ice. Yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of, like, glad that we, like, put it out of its suffering. <laughs> yeah. We're sure gonna just, like, taking it out. Taking its, like, little claw hand and, like, <laughs> gently lead it out. <laughs> oh! Do you ever just have a normal conversation in the game and then you realize something is terrifying in the background? Just silently, non-threateningly terrifying? That fucking skeleton yes! with the tail? Yes! Look at that fucking skeleton spine tail! Da. Hate it. Thanks. It's very easy to overlook that. If you just don't look at it too closely, it's just a skeleton and a thingy, but it's not just a skeleton. No. It's a fucking centipede. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Let's try to get the most expensive thing, I guess. So not the kick. That sucks. Gain a small amount of resolve while being struck will hardened. Uh, I don't know how small that amount is, but that sounds pretty good because that happens a lot. Mm. But it's also like resolve starts going down if it doesn't fill up full bar. Yeah, but then again, if it gets increased, then that resets the timer, right? Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. That does bring questions forth, don't it? Donut. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a timer thing. Like the last time it was increased, it resets the timer. Pretty sure. Okay. Become familiar with items more quickly. Gain a glimpse on reading lower for the first time. Uh, I mean, that's good. Duration of time enemies remain hardened when you're separated from Solomon is increased. Oh, we haven't explained that on camera. I realized what that is. Mm. Finally. Um, what it means by remain hardened is that when you die and you get pushed out of your body, your um, the enemy kind of freezes for a couple seconds while you're getting up and <laughs> collecting yourself. But it always, like, the enemy always comes back to life maybe two seconds before you actually gain control. So you, they are a threat by the time you try to get back to your body. And so that's what this is talking about. That the enemy will remain frozen for longer. Um, I'm feeling this. Small amount of resolve of being struck will hardened. Okay, yeah. I feel like the resetting the timer, if nothing else, would be really useful. Okay. It's gibberish. Familiar signs and symbols etched by a human hand in my own tongue. Yet they're arranged without any discernible logic. The letters spiral in concentric circles, interspersed with figures that resemble mathematical formulae. It means nothing, I'm certain. But I can't look away. Oh, that's a weapon upgrade. Oh. I don't know about the Golden Bell, but the Solemn Offering. Oh. Oh. Huh. Maybe that's going to be a shortcut we unlock from the other side. Mayhaps. Wondering where the nearest anvil is. I, who knows? Yeah. I guess I should forge on ahead? I don't know. Let's look at what that bell is. I mean, we gotta use it, right? Yeah. So. Oh, we haven't consumed the tainted nectar either. Oh. It says it's unfit for consumption. Let's consume it. Yeah. Rend you from your shell. Oh, wow. That's disgusting, apparently. <laughs> And maybe if you use it enough times, you get to recall a shell using it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet you're right. And you became familiar more quickly because you used it. So maybe if we use it again. Uh huh. Don't over and down. Did it consume it? No, it didn't consume a life. Oh, but it did consume the nectar. So we'll have to wait till we get another one. Ah. <sighs> Uh, shall we ring this? Yes. 
I'm, whoops. I also wonder, we don't have any glimpses, so we can't get the you get familiar more quickly thing. I thought that's what we got. Oh, right. No, no, I, no, no. That shows the hardened, gives you a little bit of resolve. You get struck with a hardened <gasps> thing. Okay. I know. Now I'm like, wait. <laughs> Increases resolve gain for three minutes. Ah, and I think golden bells were sold by the seller at the church. Hmm. That sounds like a really useful thing. Yeah, I'm liking how the items in this game are useful, unlike in Dark Souls. Yes. Where it's like, apply this thing to your weapon. You do nice amount of more damage, of electric damage, for like 2.5 seconds. Thanks. And then there's like one item that's like, like, replenishes all your health, like, makes you unhollow, fucking pays your student loans, mm -hmm. and you can only carry one at a time, so you always forget that you have one. <coughs> yeah. Store a small amount of health at a large cost to resolve. Do we have any resolve? I mean, we have two. I kind of want to just nom nom until we learn more about it. Alright, let's nom nom. Anything else we should be using? I mean, so like we already know something about this, but we could know more about it. Mm. Next pair of funds revolve on resolve on success. Maybe I should use that in combat. I should probably use those in combat. Next. So, what did we learn? Worms fester in this rotted food. <laughs> That's what we learned. We tasted the worms. Their pallid bodies writhe with joy as decay drips from fetid pores. <gasps> Some claim there is nothing more sublime than this rancid treat. Uh. Man, the writers are really nihilistic, aren't they? Yeah, they're like, fucking hell. Oh, this tattered vestment has unlimited uses. Bound to a forgotten. S oh, wait a minute. Is this switch weapons? Oh? Probably back to the main weapon? Probably. Let's so, see. so I don't think we actually. Do we not want that right now? I don't know. Maybe not. Mayhaps not. Since this is the better sword right now. Yeah, since it's been upgraded and also it's just kind of cool. It is kind of epic. Yes. And since this thing had at the end of it an ice boss, and this is where we got the. F Never mind, this is where we got the flame. Oh, no. This is where we got the ice sword. No, no, no. And then at the other place, we got the flame thing. So it probably will have a flame boss, which ice will be useful, I guess, question mark? Is yeah. this, or is this not Pokemon logic? Because if Pokemon logic, no, then probably. it's like super bad. <laughs> and steel is also bad against fire in Pokemon. So really we'd need like a water sword or like a ground sword or like a rock sword. I'm just admiring that we're not in a bog. <laughs> we're not, this is the first like major change of scenery. Hell yeah, not a bog. Oh, looks like you can drop down. There's an item down there. They're tempting you. Whoop. Ooh. What's coming? Oh, I love the crunchy noises. Those Aww. footsteps or whatever they are. Oh yeah, those are footsteps. <sighs> it's not in the courtyard. We don't have to worry about it yet. I feel like this might lead back to the door and unlock it. Oh. My brain is huge, or my brain is huge? My brain? Fucking humongous, like, throbbing. <laughs> throbbing! With knowledge and smarts. Perhaps we want to go to the other place and defeat the fire 
thing and then come back to this place with the fire thing. That's a good idea. Is there really not a fast travel system? <sighs> like, as far as I can tell, absolutely not. Maybe if you, like, use one of those things where you, like, give up your glimpses or your tar, maybe then you can, like, choose where you would, like, respawn back. Which would be really fucking useful. It says one more time to reveal further details. I wonder if we use this more. But yeah, that's at the cost of all of your glimpses. We only have one glimpse. Yeah, we have only one glimpse. You only got one glimpse. Do not let that to stop you from traveling to your sis. And maybe now that we've maxed our knowledge, now we can like choose which sister we go to. That's what I'm hoping. <gasps> Hopeful. Plus, it didn't fucking take your glimpses. You still have one glimpse. What? Bitch, what the fuck? Though broken, this mask still retains a trace of its original purpose. It hums with faint whispers when worn. They demand an offering. Oh. Hmm. I'm just wondering if we have anything that maybe could do something like that. Like, I feel like there must be a fast travel system, surely. I mean, it would have to be the tattered vestment, but I really doubt it. Mm. I'm almost certain that just gives us the main sword. Oh my god. Not that it would actually be that huge of a run back. Like, I guess it wouldn't. We'd have to go all the way back to the church. Because that's where the fucking fire sword is. No, we wouldn't just have to get go get to the church. We'd have to go to the to the other dungeon where we'd beaten the hater. And probably go there with this sword. And then after defeating that bitch, go back to the fucking church to get the fire sword to come back to this place. Girl. Should we just continue here? No. I do want to go to the other hater. And I do want to come to this place with the fire sword just to like prove that like there is a point to life. Yeah. That light does be dark and maybe the maze isn't entirely fucking useless. <laughs> I'm going to use this. Okay. It did ah. what we thought it would. Little more than swaddling cloth. These soiled vestments were meant for the unborn. It's a loathsome inheritance that manifests as a sword. Pretty cool in, uh, manifestation. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a sword, so... Oh, do you not fucking get back up? Wait a minute. No. Cannot be. Because, like... What? Okay, no fucking way. Either we continue forwards to, like, make our way to some sort of, like, loop around shortcut, or we're seriously missing something. <gasps> okay, this looks, like, this looks like a thing. Well, we were missing, in any case, we were missing something. Oh, effigy of teal. Huh. What? Yeah, that's it. Do, what? do we want to continue? Well, I guess we have no fucking choice, huh? I almost want to Google, like, are we missing something? But also, I kind of like not knowing. Well, I think the game... I think this game is very seriously telling us, go forth, you fucking slut. I just feel like we really should be able to do it through Janessa. Yeah. Sip this and you'll see. Like, you really can't. There's nothing here. Okay. Alright. And now we got the old sword, which is worse. Yeah. 
Yay! Yay! But maybe it's better against ice. Hmm? Oh yeah, maybe. Steel is super effective against ice. Uh, I can't harden. Oh, the pugs! The pug! The pug! The damn pugs are back! Oh! Uh, yay! Yay! I can harden now! Now I can practice hardening everywhere! Hell yeah! No stamina. I mean, you regen stamina when hardened. Right, and we get a little bit of resolve if we're hit. <coughs> <coughs> if we're hit, we'll harden. Yeah. You gotta remember that too. I was kind of having to remember how the hell this sword worked. Right. God, it's so fast. <laughs> God, it's so fast. Well, you know, those are actually good things to use right now. And that's already quit. Boost the damage to the next attack? Sure. Ornate token? Sure. Grant a buff? Glimpse. Next damage taken while hardened is converted to health. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's really good. So you gotta strategize like what attack is gonna do the most damage. Mm. I'm gonna put that in here. Whoa. The first vision came upon me like a waking dream. Thrust into a vast chamber, I beheld a maiden, crowned with winter glass. Her Sister? Hand, yeah, I think so. Her hand fell upon my throat and I shivered. Trembling, I returned to the present, but her grasp remained an icy collar upon my neck, linking us forevermore. I was expecting that to be another chest we can't use Yeah, thing. same. They were mad that you interrupted their making out session. They were like, ooh, let's go to this remote little place where we can do kisses and no one <laughs> will ever know. Uh, I don't think I want to fight you on this bridge. No. Loot them over or whatever. Whatever you have to do, bring them over. Oh. Loot? Oh, that's what you meant. Loot. Yeah. Loot, loot. Oh, come on. 
on. Ugh. Oh, fuck. You unhardened yourself? Yeah, tapped it. Oh. Oh, nice. Whew. Oh, There's more, more of these things. No. no. I hate, I love that. And I hate that, but that's like really good, actually. Yeah. That's like so fucking ambiently creepy. Yeah. Ugh. Two of them. How far can you throw? Pretty. Oh my god, three of them. Oh. <gasps> What? Well, you got a better than you. You have another one. Ooh. Yeah. God, do I need it? Let's just. I was gonna say eat some coins, but the animation thankfully is not eating. <laughs> thankfully, you don't eat everything. I guess we're like popping coins? Kind of looks like we like shatter them or something. Ah. fair to say that this is just the alternate way to get here yeah that we saw so i don't think i want to go there given how we're really low in health yeah you parry them Oh, right. still alive. I'm not. But you got kicked out of your body so your little house is gonna get reset. Damn it. 
Damn, that shield. Damn. don't actually do that much damage they're just hard as hell to hit yeah Whew. and they fucking splat you to the ground <laughs> yeah almost fell off they say, couple down times. dog down <laughs> and you're like nasty just yeah. like evil you little fucker no fucking manners My name is Solomon, and I'm here to say, y'all nasty fuckers got no manners. <laughs> Grody. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. You got this. You got a parry in you. Fuck! So close. 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 Nasty man. Be like. Psh, psh. Nasty man. Be like. Psh, psh. I've got your flesh safe. Found me. Thanks. Could, could you like switch some swords for me? Too? Like a little bit of sword switcheroo? Please! Oh my god. <laughs> Do you think I should run there, or...? I don't know how successful it'd be to run. Maybe we should just try the other way to go there, hmm? A very cost-effective way of exploring, eh? Nice! Get that bitch! Oh! Oh! Yes! Whoa! I didn't know you could destroy it! So maybe I should just have them hit me hard. I mean, I had the other one hit me hard a bunch of times, though. So maybe what? because they were doing a special attack that just, like, uses the shield. Oh, yeah, they tried to, like, push it into me. Yeah. Shield shoving. Oh, I guess it's not an alternative way to get there, huh? Or, never mind, it is. It I, is, I it think is. it is. Okay. This is new. Yeah. A barely legible prayer dotted with stains. All right. Next parry poisons enemy on success. Ooh. Nice. Next person who hits me will regret it. <laughs> Have we been here? No. Does this actually link up with where we were or not? I think one of those paths will, but I don't know which. Fucking let's make that bitch regret it. This way or the other way? Oh, let's go this way down first. Haha! Ha -ha. Uh -huh. Not uh, so tough now, are you? Oh, I accidentally ate tar spore. That's what happened. They're actually not that tough at all once you get rid of the shield. Hell yeah. 
This seems to be a dead end, by the way, so it seems like we took the right choice. Yeah. Oh, unknown effigy. So that's for the one body we don't know? Or? Yeah. Ooh la la, la la lu. We should probably, I f do feel like we should go back and like do more of the basic stuff. Yeah. Like look again where that thing is and try to find the other body. Cause I don't think this is going to lead to the other body. No. But we can't leave this place until yeah. we find the end of it. So. <laughs> Literally can't. Literally can't leave. This oh, ride, that's new. I literally can't leave. Okay. They were like, you don't have this club nightclub stamp, so I'm gonna need you to like chill. Oh, they're just blocking me from going this way, aren't they? Oh. Can you use weapon ability on them? Oh, I don't want to waste it. Oh, okay. Can you, like, run back so that they retract it and then, like, try to run forwards? Nah. Ning. Okay. Fucking asshole. Maybe they're like a one-time boss, and when you go back and kill them from there, they're just like, cool, it's fine now. Yeah. That's probably how you unlock it from the other side. Right. It does seem to be like a quicker way there. I wonder if we can like drop down there from somewhere. Not without dying. <laughs> Wait, have I gone this way? This, that's the... the yeah, that's the chest. Ah, right. And the inscription. That we thought would be an unlockable chest. Hit me with your chest shot. Come on and hit me with your chest shot. You know, I think I can just run past these. I don't think they're going to be able to follow me across yeah. this. Ooh. Oh, I almost died. Oh. You weren't quite ready to harden. Not quite. Yes! <laughs> oh, maybe bury him to get health? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Suck him dry. Again? Oh, he's already dead. Damn it. Useless. That's how men are. Should I just go down? Yeah. Damn it. That is how men are useless. You try to suck <laughs> them dry and they're already dead. Yeah. Now this is the way we didn't go before. And oh, maybe no. that's the way that oh come on. At least they're coming down one by one. Oop. <laughs> Parry them. Fuck. <gasps> Well, at least one of them died. Oh. Nice. Oh. 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 Ah. Holy. Ah. Boom. Oh, you could use your weapon ability on them, and probably one hit KO them. Oh yeah, these ones. Yeah. Oh, did I kill both? 
Oh, no. Oh, you, you hit both. You hit both, I think. If Aww. <laughs> well, at least it, it cost them to throw their heads away. Yeah, I didn't know it could hit two at the same time. This is a dead end. Yeah, huh. How's it? Huh. Maybe you get like a long range weapon or something to kill that dude who's blocking you. Hit me with the cock block. I'm on and hit me with the cock block. It's better be something good. Oh, that is good. That is good. That's that's the next level for the sword, isn't it? Yes. Damn, that sword's getting powerful. Hell yeah. Now we just need to get the sword and find a place to upgrade it. <laughs> yes. Also, yes, where do I go? This way goes nowhere, right? No. So, yeah, this way I went... No, no, this is where we died last time. So this is where we want to go. Yes. Yes. I think it was the big dude down there that killed us. But not this time. This time, we know how to deal with your kind of people. Those two minutes of the tar spore go by a lot faster than it seems like they should. Yeah. They're very easily stunned. Yeah. Like, pretty much any hit stuns them. Which was really surprising. Oh, was that my stuff? That we just got back? Was it? No, no, this is my stuff. Well, then we were killed <sighs> by something else, weren't we? Oh, the fucker down there, weren't we? Wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Eggs and bakey. Oh, you use your weapon ability. You can choose against this. Yeah, or parry. Or whatever. Oh, but yeah, probably save it for the other enemy, huh? Yeah. I'm dummy. <laughs> Rude awakening, huh? Oh, that was so easy. What the hell? <laughs> Ooh, it's because of the weapon ability. <sighs> oh, yeah, maybe bury him. No. Oh. Please give me the parry. Come on, I want the parry the platypus. Please give me the parry. Parry. Everyone's favorite guy. Uh, is he a guy or is he just a platypus? Man. Did you know that parry's trans? Because at one point the show made a joke about how Candace in Perry's body was sweating milk, which is how how female platypus <laughs> do, right. I guess. So, Perry assigned female at birth, but a man. Ergo, Perry trans, Perry trans, Perry trans, Perry trans. I'll try to Perry. <laughs> in honor of our favorite platypus. Ah. Whew. Whew. 
Uh, did we come from the stairs or did we come from? I think we came from the not stairs. So that leads somewhere. We have a parry in us. Oh, <gasps> an ice hole. <gasps> Let's go. Let's Not go. this way. Ice hole. Mm, last time there was a hole, it was just this little dead end. So I'm trusting in dead hole, dead end holes more now these days. Ah, ghost. Ah. Can we talk or is this a fight? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. <sighs> oh, that was my last life. Oh. Let's see if I can find my way back. I'm gonna run. I'm not gonna really attack anything. Yeah. This way, right? No, wrong way. No, the other way. Oh, that's right. death. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wakey, wakey. Oh, wait. Wrong way. Yeah. Wrong way. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh. No biggie. No biggie. Eh? Oh, right. That's your body. I was like, new enemy? What the hell? No, that's you. Gotcha, little Aww. fucker. Cool death animation. Yeah. Oh, there was an item to pick up. Oh no, there's another? Uh -huh. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay, there's a lot. Um, let's go get this item. I feel like strongly it's the stairs on the other way that go up. That's the actual shortcut. So this isn't the shortcut? I really don't think so. Should we not continue this way? Yeah, I think we should go back and go back to that place where we went down the hill and then we should go up the stairs. I need to hit the enemies then, don't I now? Yeah. But maybe they've like reset their places since you went through a hole. Mm hmm. So, sorry, which way am I going? On the right? that way, that way, yeah, right. Oh, this is I didn't pick up there, too. Well, yeah, hell yeah. Uh oh. Oh, fuck off. There's another one. This doesn't look good. You'll be fine. Uh, no, I won't. 
You just need to kill the big guy. And he's close. No, there's like three that can throw stuff at me. That's uh, not gonna work. I gotta okay, run. Okay. Thankfully, they all walk slowly. Yeah. Stairs up is my guess for how do you... Yeah. Yes! Mm. Okay. So we just unlocked the shortcut. That's it. Yeah. Now, yeah. Okay. Well, I might as well just go back now. Yeah. So there's one enemy there. Uh, is this where you come from, or do we come from here? No, you come from up there. Okay, so it doesn't get you past everything, but you only have to attack, t like, fight two enemies to get back there. Yeah. As long as that goes for real, for real, stays there. No, if it doesn't, no way. If it doesn't, I'm a, I'm a scream. I'm a scream, I'm a scream, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a scream. No, it was obviously programmed to act like that. Yes. Yes. Whew. Hey, we could probably afford another ability. Oh, yeah, because we have glimpses we haven't used, right? A lot, actually. Yeah. Do we know how many? Like, uh, how powerful are these? I don't remember. Is this the most powerful or the least powerful? Plus four, probably the most powerful. Mm. Yeah, plus one. Yes. Is there one that takes more? That we should get 15. I don't think we can get up to 15. No. So it's going to be one of these two. Become familiar with items more quickly. Duration of time enemies remain hardened with your separate from Solomon is increased. I think the uh, familiar... Yeah. Um, I was thinking he's the ex exact opposite, actually. How often do we die from that, though? From that's getting true, hit? That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. You're right. The other. How could this be a story of a man with my name? He bears the same scars. Shares in the same desires. Even finds the same tablet. Can it be called history? If it's written by a being that sees the future as readily as the past? Oh, Solomon, what did you find? Yeah, what are you talking about? Okay, I think that's a good place to end the episode. Yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to try to find a way out of this damn place. <laughs>